you may be asked another question. Let's consider a scenario where I have a date table joined to my sales table based on the date column. Additionally, the date table contains a month year column. Now, if I select a specific month such as October 2022, how can I display the trend for the last 12 months? I want to display the months from November 2021 to October 2022 on the axis of visual or row or table. Now, this could be quite tricky. And the reason is when you select something and your date is connected, in particular, the data in the visual will not extend beyond the selections made in the slicer or what's available on the page. Let me show you this on Power BI Desktop. To visualize a trend, let's use the month year column in the date table and let's include a measure net into the visual to create a trend for the entire data set. Now, let me add a slicer and filter a value. The moment I filter the slicer in order to limit the value to a specific month years, I am then only able to see that value or those values on the visual. No matter how I create a measure by using remove filters or using dates in period, I will not be able to create a trend for 12 months no matter how I create it. For October 2018, I will be able to roll up the values from the past 12 months into a single value. To understand this trend better, we take an independent table or disconnected table approach. We have two tables, one with dates and another with sales data. But here's the challenge when we try to visualize the trend. We can't go beyond what we choose in the slicer or what's visible on the screen. So to tackle this, we'll create a new date table. It's like having a separate or disconnected calendar or date table. I copy the date table settings and create a fresh one called date one. This date one table won't be connected to anything else, keeping it independent. Now this date one table is in part of our main model. In the model, you can see there is no join with the date one table. I'll adjust the slicer to work with the new date one table. This change ensures that my visual is not filtered by this slicer. Month year column is not sorted properly. I'll address the sorting issue separately in another question and video. Here's a scenario that's relevant to these dates. If I choose a month year, let's say October 2019, I want to see the last 12 months trend but the current setup won't do that. To make it work, I need to introduce another measure. Measure name is last 12 months equal to, let me create a variable first, var underscore max equals all selected date of date one, press shift plus enter var underscore min equals zero month underscore max comma minus 12 bracket close plus one we move behind 12 months which is the end date of the 13th month we then add one to land on the first date of the 12th month that's how we arrive at the first date of the selected month we return calculate net measure comma filter date table comma date of date greater than equal to underscore main and date of date less than equal to underscore max now i'll bring in this last 12 months measure into the table visual remove the net measure from the table visual as you can see from the table visual, the data is now from November 2018 to October 2019. This approach works not only for dates but also for categorical variables like category or brands. The key is having a separate disconnected table when you need more data than what's initially selected. In this manner, you can answer this question.